to my YouTube channel. Um, this is my first video as you might be able to tell so please bear with me and uh, I hope I'm gonna do well. <laughs> so I thought for my first video it might be a nice idea to do a Q&A so you get to know me better a little bit and I asked a question on my Instagram account so if you don't follow me there I'm gonna link my account in the info box it's called full time jet lag and yeah I'm just gonna get started. So for the first question I just wanted to explain a little bit what my current situation is because some people got a little bit confused. Um, I'm currently living in the German countryside but I just moved here from London where I lived for the past four years. Um, you might be able to tell that I'm not English, I'm actually German. <laughs> so I've lived here before. Um, I'm not sure how long we're actually going to stay here for, I live here with my boyfriend right now um, but the plan is not necessarily to stay here long term. And then um, since my Instagram account is a travel account, um, most of the questions I got are travel related. So I'm just going to start with those. The first question was when was the first time that I travelled overseas and where was it? And I think the first time that I really travelled overseas was when I was 12 years old and I went with my parents to Mallorca. I'm not necessarily sure that counts because if you know anything about Mallorca it's pretty much mostly Germans there. It's called the 17th state of Germany here. So everybody there speaks German and it's, I don't know, it's not necessarily has a feeling of a different country if you know what I mean. And apart from that, where my parents live, it's very, very close to the border to France and Luxembourg. So I've been there a few times before, but it's not really like a trip. Maybe we just went there for the day or something like that. Um, actually, I also remember going on a bus trip from Germany to Spain when I was really, really young. But I can't really remember anything about it apart from the fact that I got really, really sick driving on the bus because I get car sick so easily. It was an absolute disaster when I was younger. Um, and then I'm not sure if the question was when I traveled in general or when I traveled by myself. So the first time I traveled somewhere by myself was when I was 13 and I went on a group trip to Spain. And I remember that we were camping somewhere near Barcelona and we did like a day trip into Barcelona as well. So if you want to travel somewhere by yourself, I can highly recommend group trips in general. Well, that was a long answer. I hope you're going to bear with me until the rest of the video. <laughs> the next question is, where's the favorite place I visited? And I didn't actually think about the answer before I started filming the video. Um, I've visited quite a few cool places already. I've been to the Bahamas, which was awesome, where the, they have the swimming pigs. Um, I've been to Cuba, which is basically like traveling in time. It's just such an awesome place. Um, but I think the place that I travel to that has a special place in my heart now is always going to be Oman. It's just because, um, you probably don't know this either, uh, I moved to Oman by myself to work there at the university for half a year and I just had the most amazing experience. Everybody there was so lovely, it's such a beautiful country and I really really enjoyed staying there. Um, if you're interested, I'm thinking about making a video um, about moving abroad because as I said, I moved to Oman before, I've also moved to England before and now we've moved back from England to Germany. So if there's something you're interested in, just let me know or ask any questions that you have about it. The next question is what's on my bucket list? Um, well I have to say that's a very very long list. I haven't been to Australia or New Zealand yet, so New Zealand is definitely on my bucket list. Also is Iceland because I know it's an amazing place and I just can't wait to go. I also really really want to go to Mexico just because I love guacamole and Mexican food so much. I'm sure it has more to offer than just the food but that's something I'm already super excited about. Then I got a question about what I love about photography since obviously I have an Instagram account. Um, that's a really good question but it's also really hard to answer I'd say. I really like that you can capture a moment with photography so I always always um, even before Instagram 
love to just take pictures on my trips just so I can capture the moment and every time I see the picture I can just go back and remember what it was like. Um, and especially with traveling, I also love about photography that you can capture the moment and then show it to other people later. Um, that's also partially the reason why I really wanted to start me on YouTube, just because I think video is even going to be a better format to just capture the moment and experiences, especially while traveling, and then just show it back to other people who maybe are not as interested in traveling or just don't have the opportunity themselves to go to all those places. So I think that's a really cool experience. Um, so I think that's a really cool way to let other people be part of your travels and your experiences. Um, apart from that, I like about photography that um, now for my Instagram that I can just be really creative about it. Um, that I can create my own vision and make my own vision come to life. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy that. Then I also got some tips about Instagram and how to grow my Instagram and I think if I'm going to answer that I'm just going to have to do it in a separate video because there are so many different ways. A general advice that I have to offer though is just stay consistent and keep working on it and just try and be real and grow organically. It's not going to help you to buy fake followers or use anything that would be fake because there's now companies that can track that and you're just going to be punished for it in the long run. So it's not going to be worth it. Just keep working on it and if you put the work in, I'm sure you're going to do it over time. A question that's related to that that I got is if I studied anything related to marketing um, that helped me grow my Instagram and the answer is definitely no. My studies had nothing to do with marketing at all and I learned everything I know right now from reading blog posts, watching YouTube videos, or just, just trying to learn as much as I could, or even learning by doing. So don't worry if you didn't study anything related, I'm sure you can make it work anyways. Alright, I think the video is long enough for now, and I've talked enough about uh, some random stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this little video, please let me know in the comments if you have any other questions or any video requests for me and I'll do my best to make it happen. So just stay tuned for what's to come next and if you don't want to miss anything make sure to subscribe and I hope I see you again here soon. Bye!